Hello everybody, I am Suman Matthews. Today we will be discussing a topic homogeneous functions and the partial differentiation formulae. It is a part of undergraduate mathematics and also engineering mathematics. For more videos on engineering maths, you can visit my page engineering maths slash mathmadec.co and do subscribe to my channel and share the video with others who may benefit from it. Now, partial derivative of a function of several variables. If its derivative with respect to one of the variables, but the other variables held constant. So, if f is a function of x and y, partial derivative of f with respect to x, you treat y as constant. What is a homogeneous function? A function in x and y is said to be homogeneous of degree n if f of lambda x lambda y is lambda raised to n f x y. That is, we can take out lambda raised to n. Now, we have on the basis of homogeneous function Euler's theorem which states that if u x y is homogeneous of degree n, then x del u by del x plus y del u by del y is n u. Based on this, we have a problem. If u is a function of x, y, z, that is u is z raised to 4 by x cubed plus y cubed raised to 1 by 3. Prove that 3 into x u x plus y u y plus z u z equal to u. We first replace x by lambda x, y by lambda y, z by lambda z. So we get lambda z raised to 4 by 3 by lambda x the whole cubed plus lambda y the whole cubed raised to 1 by 3. Simplifying this becomes lambda raised to 1 by 3 into z raised to 4 by 3 by x cubed plus y cubed raised to 1 by 3 which is nothing but u. So u is homogeneous of degree 1 by 3. So by Euler's theorem x u x plus y u y plus z u z is 1 by 3 u or 3 times x u x plus y u y plus z u z equal to u. If u is a function of x and y Total differential of u is d, du that is defined as partial derivative of u with respect to x into dx plus del u by del y into dy. If for example, if x equal to r sin theta cos phi, dx will be partial derivative of x with respect to r that is sin theta cos phi dr plus del x by del theta that is r cos theta cos phi d theta plus partial derivative of f with respect to y which is minus r sin theta sin phi d phi. If u is a function of x and y where x is a function of t and y is a function of t, del u by d, del t will be partial derivative of u with respect to x into dx by dt plus del u by del y into dy by dt. Going one step further, if x is a function of r and theta and y is also a function of r and theta, then du by dr will be partial derivative of u with respect to x into del x partial derivative of x with respect to r plus del u by del y into del y by del r and du by d theta is partial derivative of u with respect to x into partial derivative of x with respect to theta plus del u by del y del y by del theta. Coming to problems, this is an identity. If z equal to fx y, where x is r cos theta, y is r sin theta, show that del z by del x the whole squared plus partial derivative of z with respect to y the whole squared equal to del z by del r the whole squared plus 1 by r squared partial derivative of z with respect to theta the whole squared. Now del z by del r will be partial derivative of z with respect to x into partial derivative of x with respect to r plus partial derivative of z with respect to y into partial derivative of y with respect to r. That will be del z by del x partial derivative of x with respect to r is cos theta plus del z by del y partial derivative of y with respect to r is sin theta. Again coming to del z by del theta, this is partial derivative of z with respect to x into partial derivative of x with respect to theta plus partial, now partial derivative of x with respect to theta will give you minus r sin theta plus partial derivative of z with respect to y partial derivative of y with respect to theta will give you r cos theta. Square and add both. So when you square you get del z by del x the whole squared into cos squared theta 
plus del z by del y the whole squared sin squared theta plus 2 del z by del x del z by del y cos theta sin theta plus del z by del x the whole squared r squared sin squared theta we have a 1 by r squared here plus del z by del y the whole squared r squared cos squared theta minus 2 r squared del z by del x del z by del y sin theta cos theta. So the 2 del z by del x del z by del y sin theta cos theta get cancelled. The r squared gets cancelled and you get del z by del x the whole squared plus del z by del y the whole squared. We make use of the fact that cos squared theta plus sin squared theta is 1. Coming to the next problem, if z is a function of x and y, where x equal to e raised to u sin v, y equal to e raised to u cos v, prove that del z by del u the whole squared plus del z by del v the whole squared equal to e raised to 2u into partial derivative of z with respect to x the whole squared plus partial derivative of z with respect to y the whole squared. We first calculate del z by del u that is partial derivative of z with respect to x into partial derivative of x with respect to u plus partial derivative of z with respect to y into partial derivative of y with respect to u. That will give you del z by del x. Del x by del u will be e raised to u sin v plus del z by del y partial derivative of y with respect to u is e raised to u cos v. Coming to del z by del v, it is partial derivative of z with respect to x into partial derivative of x with respect to v plus partial derivative of z with respect to y into partial derivative of y with respect to v. That is del z by del x. Now del x by del v will be e raised to u cos v plus del z by del y. Del y by del v will be minus e raised to u sin v. So we have the minus here. So when we add and square both 1 and 2, we get del z by del u the whole squared plus partial derivative of z with respect to v the whole squared equal to e raised to u sin v del z by del x plus e raised to u cos v partial derivative of z with respect to y the whole squared plus e raised to u cos v del z by del x minus e raised to u sin v partial derivative of z with respect to y the whole squared. Squaring and adding you get e raised to 2u sin squared v del z by del x the whole squared plus 2 e raised to 2u sin v cos v del z by del x into del z by del y e raised to u into e raised to u is e raised to u plus u that is 2u plus e raised to 2u cos squared v del z by del y the whole squared again coming to the previous term you get plus e raised to 2u cos squared v del z by del x the whole squared minus 2 e raised to 2u sin v cos v partial derivative of z with respect to x into partial derivative of z with respect to y plus e raised to 2u sin squared v del z by del y the whole square. These two terms get cancelled and you get e raised to 2u del z by del x the whole squared plus e raised to 2u del z by del y the whole squared because cos squared u plus sin squared v is 1. Taking out the e raised to 2u you get e raised to 2u del z by del x the whole squared plus del z by del y the whole squared. For more videos, visit my page engineeringmath slash mathmadeeasy.co and share my video with other students who may benefit from it. Thank you.